let me tell you about the time I almost got arrested. Now, the best of us, as we've talked about with the golf, uh, the golfer, the best of us, even the best of us, have been arrested a time or six. And even if you do go to jail, it's not really that big a deal unless you actually go to prison. Uh, so, anyway, so this story began oddly enough in a philosophy class. I was taking and I was debating whether I wanted to take the 8 a.m. class or the 11 o'clock class and it was the same instructor I was just like well do I want to which one do I want to take it both it was the same days it was just 8 a.m. or 11 a.m. and I decided ended up deciding uh, I went to both classes I ended up deciding to take the 11 o'clock class because it was a little later and at that time I was not liking getting up in the morning so I took the 11 a.m. class and um, for other reasons, but that was the main reason. Now I've, you know, become a grown-ass adult and I know I have to wake up at 8 a.m. occasionally from time to time. So, I took this class, and um, I, I'm a, I was a second row. I like to sit in the second row. But in the back row, there was this group of guys, BJ, Jerome, and Poof. And BJ was short for Black Josh, because that was his name on his freshman dorm floor. And Poof was short for his last name, Poof Wolf. And Jerome was just Jerome. Um, so I was not sure I would chat with BJ Poof and Jerome in the back of the, the, back of the class. And about midway through the semester, they were gonna have a party at their house. And they said, hey, you should come. So I did. Came to their party, and uh, so I became friends with them. I was not really friends with Jerome, but I became friends with BJ and Poof. BJ kind of because he uh, was from the Des Moines area, oddly enough. This is at Mizzou, and poof, just because hey, they were they were friends. Uh, so, as it was, uh, BJ ended up going off to law school, and then uh, one night, uh, poof and I we decided we're going to go to Fieldhouse. That was the place in Columbia that had uh, in Mizzou that all the frat guys went to, and then they would all uh, the police would all line up at, after the after bars, and then they'd start arresting people. Well, we were getting ready to leave, and I was walking out, and I was walking around this big group of people that were fighting and causing trouble, and one of them grabbed me and pushed me in the street. And so there I am, lying on the street, and I get up, and I start walking, I'm like, you know, I'm, I walk, start walking back to where BJ and Poof are, and uh, one of the police officers pulls me and puts me in the street in handcuffs. And I'm like, what's going on? I, you know, I had nothing to do with this. There was just this fight. And there's my friends, I'm good ready to leave. But turns out when I got pushed in the street, I was pushed into a police officer. So that was why I got their attention. So uh, as it turned out, they just kind of let me go and there was no, I wasn't even really arrested, but, um, but that's what happened. So the moral of the story is, if you go back in time two years earlier, if I hadn't taken the 11 o'clock class, I'd gone take an 8 a.m. class, I wouldn't have met BJ, Poof, and Jerome, wouldn't have gone to the field house, and I wouldn't have almost gotten arrested. So the point is, small changes in your life can have bigger consequences later on. And that's the moral of the story.